Now through 15 weeks of this NFL season, we're going to go in and predict week 16 and on. So we've got all the way through the end of the playoffs. A lot of things changed this past week based on wins and losses of different teams. Either way, let's get right into this video. Once again, going to be using the ESPN Playoff Machine. We'll link that in the comments down below so you can go play with it if you'd like. Week 16, Saints-Rams. This is a big one. I think the Rams are going to win this one. They have been on a tear lately, and the Saints just haven't really put together all season, so I think that's going to be a big one up for them. Uh, I did this last week, and a lot of things might change even based off of this since, you know, just new developments. Like, for example, this next game, Bengals-Steelers. Mason Rudolph is now starting as long as Kenny Pickett is not healthy. Uh, I don't know what to think about that. Uh, he's better than Mitch Trubisky probably because Mitch Trubisky is awful as a Steelers fan, but I, I just don't know what to tell you. I mean, I hope Kenny's back because this Mitch has shown more about Kenny than he has about Mitch. He's shown that Kenny is really just a fine player. Is he great? No, but he's a starter in this league considering the fact I don't care about his stats. They put up wins when he's on the field and that's what matters. This is at home. If Kenny's there, it's going to the Steelers 100%. Without Kenny... Playing Mason, it's a lot closer. I'm going to go with the Steelers getting the win just because I'm just going to go with it. I, I just think they have a chance, even with Mason. I, I just do. He's not going to put the ball in harm's way like Mitch does. I'm giving it to them. The Bills will beat the Chargers. I'm not even going to play with that. Browns, Texans, that's a tough one, man. The Texans are out with CJ Shroud again. The Browns have been playing really good. I'd like to give it to Cleveland, but then what happens if I give it to the Texans? Wow, they take over their division for now. I'm going to give it to Cleveland, though. They just seem like the better team at the moment. Jets, Commanders. They're both, I'm pretty sure, disqualified from the playoffs at this point. So, I don't know. Jets are at home. I'll take them. But I like Sam Howell a lot, so maybe take them. We'll go with the Commanders to get a road win here. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is officially not going to play this year, so it is what it is. We'll give it to them. Seahawks, Titans. Will Levis, I believe, is hurt now. Seahawks are you know had a big win against the Eagles last week. I'll give it to the Seahawks. They, they've done enough to show me something. Colts, Falcons. Falcons are awful. Uh, Colts have been doing pretty good. They are lacking some uh, injuries now at this point. They lost Zach Moss last week versus the Steelers. They're obviously missing JT, though he could be back this week. I'm going to give it to the Colts, though. Falcons can't put it together in a full game. Packers are going to win that game. I'm not talking about that one any longer. Lions, Vikings. A huge game, potentially for this division. Vikings did lose last week to the Bengals. That's a big one, but, I mean... They, they've been good all year, been able to come back all year. Lions are kind of in a slump right now. However, they had a huge week last week with five touchdowns from Jared Goff. Playing in Minnesota, they're playing with Nick Mullins at this point now, though. I'm going to give it to the Lions, and they're going to move up to 11-4. and four. Jags, Bucks, Jags taking them. The Bucks just aren't that good right now, man. They're just simply not. They retake their divisional spot. Cardinals, Bears, that's going to be an awful game. I, I don't know. I really feel like the Cardinals could win this one. Uh, they really have no reason not to try. Uh, they're not getting the number one pick. That's pretty much handed to the uh, the Panthers, unless the Panthers do something crazy and rattle off three wins here at the end of the year. I'll give it to the Bears. They're going to make themselves probably, you know, not love that pick entirely that they're going to have, though they do get the Panthers first, which will probably be the number one overall pick. The Cowboys, the Dolphins, that's going to be a heck of a game. I, I, I don't care what it says right now. I'm assuming Tyreek is playing. Just because I think he took himself out of last week, even though he looked good in warm-ups, simply to play this game to make sure he was there. This is a big game. Tyreek on pace for 2,000 yards. I don't know about the, the injury last week, if that changes much, but I think he hits it either way. And if he does hit it, I think he has to win MVP. I think the Dolphins are going to win that game. The Cowboys don't win big games, especially not at home. It's not happening. Neither do the Dolphins, though. But they are at home. They get the big game in their, in their facility, so I'll give it to them. Patriots-Broncos. Patriots have had a lot of fighting in the last few weeks, but I'm giving it to the Broncos at this point. They just, they're on, they're the better team at this point. Chiefs, this could be a scary one. The Raiders last time went up like 21-0 or 14-0. Chiefs did come back and win, but the Chiefs have been skidding recently as well themselves. Still going to give it to the Chiefs, especially at Arrowhead, but that's a game to watch. Maybe, maybe something else happens there. Eagles, Giants. Oh, the Eagles are on a skid. I don't care. They're winning this game. Come on now. This is a huge game. Which team, the battle of the one seed in each conference, actually, but can Baltimore fall out if they lose this game? They don't fall out. So they have the one seed at this point, no matter what, 
barring anything crazy. I think at this point, you have to go with the Niners. They just look like the better team overall. The first of 12 wins, it's going to be a huge one for them. And the Ravens, I just don't really think they're as good as they appear. Plus, they always fall off. They're the Cowboys of the AFC. We're just waiting for it to happen at this point. When is it going to happen? Either now or in the playoffs, it's happening one way or another. Now the stage is set for week 17. Browns, Jets at home. Uh, Ver Browns at home, excuse me. They're going to win that one. Cowboys and Lions. That's a big game for this conference. If the Cowboys win, does anything change? Not really. If the Lions win, does anything change? They take the two seed. They get Seattle. I'm going to go with the Cowboys winning, though. I just think right now they're just going to be the better team, and that's going to be a big one for them, especially after losing, I believe, two weeks in a row, that would be. Dolphins and Ravens. This is two different kinds of football here, and I'd love to see how it matches up. The Dolphins don't beat anybody that is better than them. They just simply don't. Uh, and that sounds like a stupid saying, but like, even if they're not better than them, if they're 500, if whatever, they don't beat them, period. They just don't. So you, I, I want to take the Ravens, but if the Dolphins win, do they take the one seed? They don't. They still stay behind. This is very uh, difficult to pick here. I'm going to go with Baltimore for now, but that one will be something I'm interested to see after this week, what happens this week. Bills are going to beat the uh, Patriots in their rematch. I firmly believe that. Uh, then we have the Falcons and the Bears. Uh, that's a tough one. Arthur Smith's going to be playing for his or coaching for his job at that point. I think the Falcons will rattle the win off on that one. Colts, Raiders, Colts will win. The Colts are just a solid team right now, man. They really are. If the Raiders win, I mean, they're, they are doing pretty well for themselves. I actually might give this one to them. Yeah, we will. They've had too many wins at this point. We'll give them a loss there. Jaguars will beat the Panthers. We're not worried about that one, man. CJ Stroud could be back in this game. Will Levis will be hurt. I'll probably give that one to Houston. The Rams and the Giants. Come on now. Tommy DeVito, the magic's over, bud. Then the Eagles and the Cardinals. That is a game that the Eagles need to win, obviously. Like, they need to win it anyways, but you just can't lose to the Cardinals. You can't, especially since the Cowboys did. You have to beat them, and they will. I'm not worried about that one. Bucks, Saints, that's a big one for this division. Bucks are currently in the playoffs at 7-8. and eight. If the Saints win, they take over the spot at 8-8, eight and eight and the Bucks fall to 7-9. and nine. If the Bucks win, let's see what happens. Hold on. No, oh, how do they get in either way? That's insane. What if they tie? If they tie, the Bucks get in. All right. So no matter what, all right, well, now it's tripping me out. I don't know what's going to happen here. Either way, I am going to go with the Saints winning. I think they're the better team right now. And though Baker, ah, oh, well, Baker got really hot. We might go with Baker and them to win. Let me see if I can switch this around and if it'll change anything. If they tie, if they go here. Okay, we'll do that. Now it's saying a tie again. I don't know what's going on with this thing, man. Either way, Bucks are going to win. Niners winning that one. Steelers, Seahawks, uh, that's a tough game to pick. You know, you have the Steelers who need these wins at the end of the season. The Seahawks also do. They're fighting for their playoff spot. I think the Steelers do get this one and set up a big stage for the last week of the season. I think the Steelers, as long as Kenny Pickett plays, they win out. I, I really believe that. We've seen... Terrible quarterback play ruined this team. Everybody's saying the Steelers are in shambles and it's such a big deal. If Kenny Pickett had played these games, no one would be saying that. It's just not a problem if Kenny Pickett plays. Not, And I'm not even a Kenny Pickett truther. I don't think he's even all that great, but he's serviceable. He's definitely a serviceable starter one way or another. Bengals, Chiefs, a big game. Chiefs have not been playing well. Bengals have been playing well. Bengals lost last week uh, to the Steelers in this, obviously. they I, I predict they will. So that's a big game for them. Can they, if they win this one, does anything change? Not really. I'm going to go with the Chiefs winning though, moving up to the second seed. Chargers, Broncos, Broncos will win that one, knocking the Colts out of the playoffs. And then the Packers, Vikings. That's a big one as well. I think the Vikings will win. They'll get back on track trying to make their playoff race happen. Seahawks, Cardinals. Playing spoiler here. If the Seahawks win, are they in? They are. I think the Cardinals play spoiler though, and they knock them out. Uh, the Steelers and the Ravens. Once again, if Kenny Pickett plays, I'm taking the Steelers. I think that happens. Bucks, Panthers, Bucks win. They move to 9-8. and eight. Browns, Bengals. This one is another one. I think I'm going to play spoiler again, and the Bengals win this game. That's a huge one for the Steelers to get in as well. Uh, Minnesota and da uh, Detroit, excuse me. I about said Dallas. That's a big one. I think Minnesota wins to keep their self alive. I, I think, you know, they maybe start taking a little bit of a backseat to that one and try to, you know, just hold on for dear life at that point. These records are not updating correctly. I'm trying to get them right. But either way, it's fine. Bears, Packers. That's a tough one. Does anything change either way? Not really. Nothing really changes. We'll go with the Packers winning. Obviously, they are the better team. 
Colts and Texans. If the Texans win, they are in. If the Texans lose, it's Indy. Indy, I'll go with uh, them. I think they have the, you know, actually, no, I'll go with the Colts. I'll go with the Colts. If they tie, does anything change? If they tie, it looks like the Steelers are in. So that'd be hilarious. Once again, it happened. I think it happened a couple years ago where that happened. And, you know, that'd be, that'd be something. It was the uh, Chargers and the Raiders that did it, though. But we'll go with the Texans to win. Chiefs, they win their game. Broncos, Raiders, we'll go with the Broncos to win. Bills, Dolphins, I think the Bills win that one and take over their division. I think the Bills are going to finish the season really hot. Patriots, Jets, in New England, I'll go with New England. Uh, Falcons, Saints, Saints grab that division. Uh, oh, wow, they didn't. That, I thought it changed for sure. Eagles win their game against the Giants again. Rams and Niners, they're clinched the one seed. So I'll give that one to the Rams. I think they'll win that game because they won't have to play their starters. And then Jaguars, Titans. Um, we'll see the Jaguars win that one, I think. Then Cowboys and Commanders. Cowboys win. Steelers missed the playoffs, it looks like. I'm trying to see if anybody else major miss. Uh, Saints missed the playoffs somehow. We'll check out these real quick right here. So the final records, you know, Buffalo finishes leading their division 11-6, Miami 11-6. The Jets and the Patriots fall. Pittsburgh ends 10-7. There's not a losing record in this conference of this, or this division, excuse me, in the AFC North. But only two make it. Cleveland finishes off with some good wins and gets themselves in. Uh, it's still possible for uh, Pittsburgh or Cincinnati to make the playoffs at this moment. But, you know, with this projection, they both miss out. Philadelphia wins their division. Dallas falls behind in a couple late losses, per usual. Detroit wins their division, knocks Minnesota. Oh, wait. Who gets it? Looks like the Saints. No, hold on. Something's wrong here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why is Minnesota not highlighted? I don't know. But they are in the playoffs, it appears. So they get in facing the Eagles. Um, with this bracket, I'll show you. You can read through the rest of these records. With this bracket, I'll predict uh, Baltimore loses to Houston. I'll give Houston a playoff win here. Uh, I don't trust the Ravens in the playoffs, period. Then I'll go Jacksonville, Miami. I'll take Miami to win that one. Two upsets and Buffalo to win. That means Buffalo, Miami, Houston, Kansas City. I take Kansas City and Buffalo, and I'll take Buffalo out of that one. I think they're really going to finish off this season hot. I predicted them to go to the Super Bowl way back in my preseason predictions, and I'm sticking with it. I've stuck with it all season. I'm not going to break it now. Eagles will beat the Vikings. Detroit will beat them, and Dallas will beat Tampa Bay. Uh, that'll set up San Fran to play... Dallas and Philadelphia Detroit that's a game Philadelphia will win I just think so San Fran Dallas that's a good one uh you know Dallas could really win that one they're on fire they've done a lot since that San Francisco loss uh, but I'll take San Fran they're just a better team San Fran Philly so we end up with KC Buffalo San Fran Philly I think I think Philly wins man I think they get their rematch and I think they take it to heart and they win that game setting up Bills Eagles once again I think that's going to be the Super Bowl I'm, that's what I predicted way back in the beginning, and I'm sticking with it. Either way, let me know what you think. Let me know what your opinions are on this bracket and how it plays out the rest of this season. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like this video. Let me know what rebuild you want to see next in Madden. Peace.